black tour today. Fogging tour quarry. Swell tour quarry. The corbels. Nether tour. There's leather tour over there. The sheep's tour, just down over here. That might even be black tour there. There's a Logan stone there. Few people about today. It's half term. It's easy track. So I'm guessing fucking tour car is going to be quite busy. That could be weather there. There's God's country. Bobmin. Leather tour, that's where I'm headed. But I can see a ship out in the channel. It's quite a clear day, quite nice, really. A lot of wind again. The South Hessery tour, Cranber tour. The wind is dropping the temperature quite a bit it's quite cold really my hands are cold tips of my ears are cold but when the sun comes out it's lovely so about the fogging tour quarry this is where the granite for the base of Nelson's column came from very cool place but it's half term so it's quite busy there's also about 100 squaddies over there. You must be migrating somewhere. This is Swell Tour Quarry. For me, it's far more exciting than Fogging Tour Quarry. And that's just because it's a tourist trap. But this place is special. And it's a deep canyon. It's a great place to camp. So that's where I was just now. But that lovely little flat pitch there, if you don't mind the wind coming off the Atlantic, that would make a great place to camp. Just um, don't wander too far for a pee in the night. Yeah, look, there's the old sleepers, the old metal pins, old sleepers on the track. I'll tell you what, the aroma from these rowan trees is amazing, it's beautiful. I couldn't come to Swell Tour Quarry and not say hello to these guys. These are the corbels. The supports for the London Bridge that is now in America. 
Wow, I just love dressed granite. Look how pretty that is. Vixen tour there, the forbidden tour. That's where I'm heading, up on top of that shark fin up there. Looks a bit like tripping. Look how small these trees are. They get battered by the winds off the Atlantic. I love this little tucked away quarry. It's always really lush and damp inside here. It's a real gem. Look at this little place here. Like the Lost World. And all the trees coming out and everything coming into life is a bit more sheltered here. Oh. If there was some flat ground, I'd be tempted to camp in here tonight. Got to be careful here, very, very windy. They didn't forecast this amount of wind. I want to get blown off the top. Good fun though. That's where me and Dave sit for a, a brew. Let's get out the top. Wow, look at it here. That's Baratora. I'm camping down in that. Let's cook a rock over there. I can see all the way to Nuns Cross Farm. Look at the bluebells down there. It's going to be lovely in the woods. You know, this side of Leather Tour is magnificent. It's like being back in Snowdonia.
course today is a day of aromas hawthorn pine needles pine forest oh, oh it's intoxicating and bluebells stone cutters that cut all these stones square wow what a life look at that absolutely brilliant engineering go black tor falls that's one of the things i've come for that stamping house there and the tour is just up there i might have a brew up here but first things first there's a double mortar stone in there and i really want to go and see it there we go, there's the one this side of the water. But in that little building over there, there's another one. There it is, look. That's what these tinners used to mold their tin into. There's been a big wheelhouse there. I'm camping tonight. Space station goes over in about five minutes, ten minutes. I think it's a little bit too bright. It's about half past nine. I think it's a little bit too bright. My friend Graham, he's just text me to say it's going over in 10 minutes. I'll be amazed if we see it. I'll try and film it if it comes over and we can see it. Don't worry, I'd rather be. Half past nine on a Tuesday evening. The wind's died down. I got a hot chocolate and I'm waiting to see if I can see the space station go over. I think it's gonna to be too bright, but we'll give it a shot. So I've waited the hour and a half for the space station to go around planet Earth. Does look like it's clouding over, but I do think that when it goes overhead, I will be able to capture it. So this is my second try at trying to catch the space station. There it is. The International Space Station. <laughs> oh, what a special, special thing that is. Hour and a half to go around planet Earth. There you go, Graham. I know you're watching it. Bit of a white out this morning. It's about half past five now. I think I'm going to be wetter on the inside than I am on the out because it's very mild. 